In this video, I'm going to show you my version of an Arduino controlled Skittles color sorter, briefly how it works and some of the flaws about my design. The hopper has a simple feedback system to detect if it is empty or if it has Skittles to sort. It works in the same principle of photo interrupt. At the bottom of the hopper, there is a white LED and a photo resistor. If there is nothing in the hopper, and the LED will just blink blue until the hopper is filled. From the hopper, the Skittle falls into a sliding tray and the servo moves to the position of the color sensor. Once the color is processed and determined, the chute moves into the corresponding box and moves the Skittle into the chute. If the color can't be determined, it will try up to five attempts to redetect the color. One issue I have with the sorter in my design is that the hopper is not quite the correct size for the Skittle to be in. Sometimes it will get stuck in the hopper or just get stuck in the sliding tray. And the sorter thinks there's a Skittle in there, but it never gets unstuck or falls into the tray and is in a forever loop until it gets unstuck. For this project, I use an Arduino Pro Mini, two 9 gram servos, one for the sliding tray and one for the chute. A TSC 230 color sensor on a breakout board used for sensing the color of the Skittle and a photoresistor with an LED, which I mentioned before. The structure itself is from recycled cardboard for one of my favorite pizza places and bonded together with maker's favorite, hot glue to hold it all together. I made my own custom circuit board to save a bit of space and to see how well I can solder small surface mount parts, like the SMD voltage regulator on the back. It isn't the prettiest thing, but it does work. I made it use a standard USB plug so I can plug it into any portable power bank and bring it along anywhere.